Hey everyone, so <clears throat> we've done 1.1, now we're moving on to 1.2, right? So let's just read the question and see if we can understand the context of this question a little bit better. So it says, Naomi owns a spaza shop in Gugaletu, right? She buys her stock from a wholesaler in Cape Town. Below is some stock that she buys, uh, stock that she buys weekly. Okay, so she buys some sugar, she buys chakalaka, and she buys some rice, okay? And what's important here is that they've shown us the cost price and the selling price, right? And the selling price is generally, as a rule, higher than your cost price because there's no point in selling something unless you cover your costs, right? And you generally want to make a profit. So this number, as you can see here, is always bigger than our cost price, okay? And they're probably going to ask us a couple of questions about that. So let's just jump into the questions and go straight into it. So the first question they ask us is convert, convert 400 grams to kgs. Okay, cool. So let's just write that down. And we know, right, what's important here is that 1,000 grams equals 1 kg. Okay, so now we know that we have 400 grams, right? So in order to get from grams to kgs, right, we know that we have to divide by 1,000. Now, you might be thinking, okay, like, I know that we always do that, but what does that actually mean? So kilograms is a bigger unit of measurement than grams, right? So because we're going from something, a small measure, to a larger measure, we divide by a thousand. And let me show you what that means, right? So it results in 0 0.5 k 0 0.4 kgs, right? So you can see that 0 0.4, right, is smaller than 400, right? The actual number. But what that means is that because we're moving to kgs, which is a larger measure, right, you would expect it to be smaller in kgs than it is in grams, because grams is a smaller measure. Let's think about it in terms of currency, right? I can say to you, I have 100 cents, right? But 100 cents is just one rand. 100 sounds bigger than one, but they're just different measurements, right? And that's exactly what happens here. So it's important to understand that kgs is larger than grams as a measurement, and therefore you would, you would predict that the number of kgs, right, if you just look at the number, would be less than the number of grams. Okay, so that was just a little bit of background there. I hope that was helpful. Um, but let's go on to 1.2. 1.2.2. Sure, so many decimal places here. Okay, so it says, determine the profit she will make if she sells a can of hot, spicy chakalaka. So what's important here, right, is that we understand how to calculate profit, right? So profit equals, right, so profit equals your selling price, right, the amount that someone in your shop buys something at, minus the cost price. And the cost price is what you paid for it, right, or your input cost, right? So in this case, for the hot and spicy chakalaka, it is 14 rand and 30 cents selling price, right, that's what it says there. And our cost price is this 10 rand 99. Okay, so that's that. And then our profit is basically the difference between the two, right? Which is three rand and 31 cents. If you don't believe me, check on your calculator. Cool. All right, so that's the answer there. We've got three marks in the bag. Cool. So let's move on to 1.2.3. So 1.2.3 is an interesting question because it comes across as being quite difficult, but we just, if we break it down into pieces, it's actually not too bad. So... It says she, being Naomi, buys a 2,5 or 2.5 kg bag, a pack of white sugar and repacks the sugar into 250 gram packets, right? Determine how many packets she'll be able to get from one pack of 2.5 kgs of sugar. So the best thing to do is to convert the 2.5 kgs of sugar into grams, right? Because then it'll be easier to say grams divided by grams to get the number of packets of sugar that she packs this bigger packet into, right? So we know from over there, right, that 100 grams equals 1 kg. So we want 2.5 kgs and we want to find out the grams, right? So when we're working from kilograms to grams, 
right? We have to multiply by a thousand. And the reason we have to multiply by a thousand is because we are going from a bigger measurement to a smaller measurement, right? Therefore, we expect that there will be more grams than kilograms, right? Because of this measurement that this measurement value that I explained earlier. So what we say is we say 2.5 times by a thousand and that gives us 2,500 grams, right? Exactly what we expected. We expected the number of grams to be more than the number of kgs, right? Because of the quantity of measurements. So now we have 250 grams. But it says that each of the smaller packets are, sorry, that's 2,500 grams. And it says that each of the smaller packets are 250 grams, right? So we're going to say this amount here, <clears throat> we're going to say 2,500 divided by 250. And that gives us 10. If you don't believe in me, believe in me, it's taking it so personally. If you don't believe <laughs> in my answer, check it on your calculator. Um, right? So if you check that on your calculator, it is 10 packets, right? So one bag of sugar makes 10 smaller packets of sugar that Naomi decants. Okay, cool. Smash that question out of the park. Okie dokes. Now let's go on to 1.2.4. So 1.2.4 says the 2 kg tastic rice, so this one over here, is divided into eight smaller packets, right? So it says calculate the selling price of one small packet, right? So what we need to do is we need to figure out if we take this selling price, because this selling price is for the bigger packet, right? What that would be for each of these smaller packets, right? So let's just make sure that we understand what we're doing. Let me also just make sure that you can see what I'm writing. Otherwise, that is no, no help. So 2 kgs is, how much is it? It is 29 rand and 20 cents. Okay, you see that? 29 rand and 20 cents, right? But now we want to divide that by 8. So we actually have to do the same for the selling price, right? We're going to divide that by 8. Now that is not a number I can do in my head. Well, not quickly anyways. And the answer there is 3.65. So it is 3.65 per small packet. Okay. And that is 1.2 done. Next video, 1.3. We have just got, let's see how many marks we've got. We have just got 10 marks. Amazing. Okay, cool. See you in the next video, guys.